Good morning, welcome to a morning review on Wednesday the 18th of March. This is Kim Watson speaking for Easy Trader. Okay, looking at the euro dollar first, and as you can see, yesterday we managed uh, well, a bit of an ups upside day and then uh, just ran into the daily 8 moving average and rolled over from there. It's uh, it put in sort of quite a bearish 4 alley bar at that point, a shooting star. It's looking very iffy as, as we sit at the moment. And I'm really looking at this sort of... Uh, near term sort of trend to see if it's broken it's it's had a little bounce of the uh, hourly 50 ma if we start breaking below there i've got to be looking towards the bearish side of these markets uh, the moment we've been doing up until that point we've been doing higher highs higher lows uh, we've subsequently in this small section here done a slightly lower high uh, which we could see a continuation of so we if we, if we break this uh, uh, sorry lower high here yeah, confirmed lower high if we close below these lows here it really just pushes on the, the chances of further downside on the euro big day today in the markets as uh, we got some quite a lot of key news out this morning we got the UK uh, uh, average earnings and uh, re uh, employment reports and then later on we've got well I say later on then we at the same time we've got the uh, the minutes from the last Bank of England meeting and then at 12 uh, 12.30 we've got the annual budget which uh, could create some volatility certainly will create some volatility and then the 6 6 o'clock this evening UK time we've got the FOMC economic projection statement Fed funds rate and this is a statement that's most important there but so then at 6.30 we've got uh, Janet Yellen speaking so from the FOMC so quite a busy day ahead so as I say for the moment on this euro dollar looking for the potential breaks of these lows if it manages to bounce a bit further here there was a time when it first first touched the 50 would bounce about 40 pips but that was in a stronger market and at the moment this isn't looking uh, particularly strong uh, looking at cable um, quite a big sell-off big uh, sandwich in, the, in in terms of the bars yesterday on the dailies there um, still looking relatively weak here we've c continued in, I mean, from this four hour perspective putting lower highs lower lows in now we haven't quite put a lower low in here but if it breaks us through this morning uh, as, as we wait for the budget to sp uh, budget, budget the chancellor to speak that's what the term I was trying to remember <laughs> as we wait for him to speak uh, we we could see uh, the markets just coming off somewhat um, I've got that sort of key trend line across there there are probably other shorter term trend lines already being broken here at the moment it's in that sort of uh, early morning chop as I'm recording this but uh, uh, if, if we do manage to break above the daily pivot who knows we may put push up more I, I think we'll probably just see quite a lot of chop this morning on cable so we've got to be very careful with that moving ahead to dollar yen again certainly seeing chop here I was talking about it yesterday we're still in this pretty tight range yesterday it came down tested the lows of that range and, and again just bounced off it and just moved back up and is, is not really going anywhere at the moment now uh, a break of the highs may see uh, of this higher trend line rather up on here on the four hourly may see us push back up to the higher around about the 122 area at the, uh, the, anything's possible this, uh, this evening at six o'clock as we run into the FOMC news so uh, we, we, we can often see 200 pip moves around these sort of things events if there's any changes significant changes uh, certainly 100 pips wouldn't be out of order so uh, it's just the volatility that surrounds it and no one's really told me which way it's going to go today so um, as I say you look at this on, a, on an hourly basis and it it really just shows how choppy this market is. I mean, you've got red bar, green bar, you've got a few red bars, a few green bars. It's just really quite range bound at the moment, and a lot of traders are probably traded trading those ranges, uh, the highs, lows, and and doing okay out of it. But there is the point where all of a sudden it flies, and it really probably will fly. Uh, I would expect more of the same this morning, and pro possibly something sorting itself out a little bit once we've uh, seen the Fed. Uh, details finally Aussie dollar again yesterday well we ended up selling off is a bit like cable in a, in a sense it's not quite put the big sandwich sort of bars in on the dailies here but uh, certainly sold off again yesterday and, and continuing through at the moment 
had to pause this to see if I'll load my uh, uh, four alleys not loading at the moment so let's move on down to the alleys and you can uh, basically see the pitch of again lower highs and slightly lower lows it's uh, just about hit the pivot it's not far off the pivot there so not holding too much if it did start rallying well it may rally back towards that pivot daily pivot uh, if you can get above that well it may look a bit bullish but at the moment uh, almost expecting it to sell back off down to the S1 and maybe keep on pushing down towards last week's um, lows there so at the moment not looking uh, particularly good at all but again it's, it's, it's been tight in relatively tighter ranges of the last few days much more choppy uh, looking at uh, I mean Monday was sold off pretty well Tuesday uh, sorry Monday uh, Friday that was Monday chopped all over the place Tuesday it's been a little bit iffy today Wednesday well it's uh, starting off much much in the same sort of uh, light at the moment so not really seeing a lot of direction on that so overall in summary really my favorite side to probably be in is short on the euro and I'm watching that if we do break as I say we break the lows of this 50 MA uh, and break this trend line I've drawn on here I'm really looking for the short side if it does catch up on any rally maybe look for the, the, the a push up to uh, yesterday's highs into that r1 area so there we go okay that's it for me hope you have a great day uh, i'm sure it's going to be a volatile one take care bye for now